So in this uh, particular problem, we have an epicyclic wiggle train. And uh, this arm rotates two times due to the rotation of this shaft B. And uh, we have to determine the rotation of the shaft B. That results to the rotation of the arm two times. Well, the answer, of course, is uh, negative one, but we'll have to derive it. We have to solve it. So first, we have this uh, derivation already for gear three and four. Gears three and four are rotating together. So the rotation of uh, uh, gear three and four in terms of the rotation of uh, this shaft is equal to the rotation of the shaft 75 over 25 and that is to be negative. Now the other one, the rotation of 6 and 7 uh, on the basis of the shaft B this one is 50 over 30. 50 over 30 and that is to be negative. So uh, let us translate here. Negative three and B and uh, and six and seven negative five over three and B and let us now use uh, this space for our tabulation. So we we'll have the column for the arm, for 3 and 4, and the for 6 and 7. And as the first step in our solution of this uh, epicyclic uh, train problem, uh, we have to lock them all together and rotate the whole mechanism. And in this particular problem, we have to rotate them two times. Now, as the next step, we have to uh, lock the arm and then give the parts certain, certain rotation with which uh, our epicyclic train must satisfy. And uh, so with that, we'll have to lock the train and it has to have. Uh, lock the arm and uh, uh, it has to have a plus 2 as a resultant and then uh, we have to give gear number 3 and gear number 4 negative 2 plus actually it's plus minus uh, 3 and B so that the, the total or the resultant rotation of this is negative T and B, which is uh, what we have derived earlier. And so with this, we can now proceed with the other column here. Uh, the rotation of this uh, will have to be negative 1 multiplied by, uh, it has to be negative 2 minus 3 can be multiplied by so that is 20 50, 60 2 over 6 or 20 over 60 and with this 2 plus this will have to be equal to negative 5 over 3 and be uh, remember this is a negative sign for the epicyclic uh, vehicle train. If we have to analyze it, this is to be moving down uh, upward and it will rotate this towards the direction and so it will have to be opposite. So in effect, the rotation of this is opposite this rotation of the other gear. So it has to be negative. So uh, considering this part, 
you have to rewrite, rewrite it here. Plus 2. And then uh, plus this one. Plus negative 1. Uh, negative 2. Negative 3. And B. Uh, multiplied by 2 over 6. It must be equal to as earlier we have found negative 5 over 3 and B. And now it is. And B must be equal to negative 1. So uh, that is one approach to solving this problem. The other one is, uh, of course, we can proceed with 6 and 7 first and then clear 4 for the same kind of steps. We rotate it plus 2, plus 2, and plus 2. The next step, we uh, fix the arm and rotate the parts. So uh, the zero rotation of the arm and the result of your big plus 2. And with that, we can now uh, rotate this 6. So that the result that will be negative 5 over 3 and B. And that means negative 2 here minus 5 over 3 and B. So uh, uh, to proceed to the other column, it will be negative 1 multiplied by negative 2 5, 3, and B multiplied by 60, 50, 20. So that is 60 over 20. And then again, if we have to look at this, the resultant of this plus 2 plus negative 1, negative 2, negative 5 over 3 and B multiplied by 60 over 20 must be equal to negative 3 and B. So uh, this must give us and B equal to negative 1.